you guys welcome back to my channel um it's been a minute i sincerely apologize for not staying on track but but in my defense um i would usually record on wednesdays and upload it the same day because that was my set day off but recently i got a new job and i work those days now um and yeah, so it's kind of like I'm not used to the scheduling yet. Like, Wednesday passed and I didn't even know Wednesday passed because I was working. Um, so what I'll probably do is just keep the same schedule uh, when it comes to uploading. But I'll probably just record on weekends and upload for you guys on Wednesdays. And that's probably just how I'll do it. Um... So, yeah, and then it's about to change, too, when school starts again. So, just bear with me, y'all. Um, I'm a couple days late. Actually, I didn't make a video last week, either, because I, I didn't even know what day it was. But, anyway, this is the Ipsy video that y'all were supposed to get a few weeks ago, but didn't get. We got some add-ons going on. Um, before I even get into it, though, like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on all my social media platforms. If you didn't know already, I posted it on Twitter, and that's where I'm most active as far as my channel goes. Um, but I made a TikTok, so follow me there at Carolina Jones. I think that's the only thing I have in my username. I think it's just Carolina Jones and you could find me. But regardless, I'll double check for you and I'll leave it in the description. All of my social media usernames are going to be in the description as well. So go follow me and I'm going to be putting, I think what I'm going to do with my TikTok is put like short um, little videos on like beauty beauty tips or um skincare routines and stuff like that i just made a video yesterday uploading like a smooth body routine that i use like to keep my skin very smooth um because i've seen a lot of people on tiktok trying to use shaving powder all over their bodies to make it super smooth don't do that don't do it it's not safe but yeah go check that out and yeah go follow me there too so we're gonna get into this ipsy bag now before i start talking too much we got the smoothie too mm -hmm. you gotta get your morning smoothie on okay let me see. so this is the Ipsy bag we got for what month we're in? July? I think this is the Ipsy bag for July. So we scored a Fenty, ladies and gentlemen. And yes, I'll be trying it for you today. I have so many Fenty lipstick and um and lip paint and highlighter. Well, I only have one highlighter, but I have a lot of lipstick and lip paint. But I won. I didn't win I didn't win it but I've got um, the unlocked lip paint by Fenty and I'm super excited for this I'm really excited for that and then we got the sugar matte as hell um, oh it's a vegan company it's a crayon lipstick so I don't know if we'll be trying that on today but I'll swatch it for you guys just so you can see a little something and then we got a lighting crew mltd um brush honestly i have a lot of brushes now i don't even need this but i will try it out for you oh and this is what the bag looks like it says stay golden i really like this the little um little whatever that is right there don't know what I'm saying anymore. Okay, so then we got the item brow chow ultra fine brow definer and it's in medium brown. It says it's a brow pencil 
That stays put all day. Use a triangle tip to create hair like strokes. Use a shaping brush to fluff and perfect. And it's a vegan brand as well. I love that. I love that. Okay, and then I think they gave us another lipstick. Oh my goodness. And this is Girl Power in the color of Mauve. I don't know how to pronounce that word. Somebody help me. Um, we'll swatch that for you guys too, though. Um, they gave us a body scrub. We love, we love body scrubs here. We love them. And we also have Nomad. That's the company name, and the name of the whatever this is is Car Cara. Cartagena Magica. I don't know if I pronounced that right, but it's definitely Spanish. And it says, Eres el Mundo. So in the back it says, oh, it is an eyeshadow. It says, a fantastically soft shimmer honey gold eyeshadow with extra fine pigments infused with rosehip oil for magical colorful payoff. Cruelty free and vegan. We love a vegan brand. Okay. And this is free of parabens. Dalits, I don't know what that is, and mineral oil. So there we have that. I really like the um, design on this. I really like that. And then the little flyer that came inside my little baggy bag says, "Are you ready for August?" Yes, we are. This is real breaking beauty. Go bold, experiment with color, or rock a skincare only look. Halsey invites you to make a statement your way. No rules necessary. And then I'll just tell you guys the prices of things as I go, just because I feel like that's more convenient. I don't know. And this is going to be our add-on. I think this is the one that they freaking lost a long time ago. Backstory. So, one of the Ipsy bags that we got, I guess we had gotten an add-on. And I do remember getting this as an add-on, but I don't remember which Ipsy bag it was. Long story short, um, I guess, like, the bag got lost in, like, in the parcel parcel shipment and they just delivered it and were like oh sorry like it was lost i didn't even notice it was i didn't even notice i i was still waiting for this like i didn't know it was lost the whole entire time but anyway this is we got i'm pretty sure this is the um yeah this is the bronzing powder that i got by nomad and we got a flesh fleshy lip what is that in the color George that's another lipstick we got a lot of lipsticks this, this time and then I was waiting for this I was so excited for this too and I never received it I was still waiting for it I thought I thought it was just still shipping you know I didn't think it was lost but anyway it's the galactic perfect pair eyeliner duo so this is the eyeliner I'll be swatching this for you guys because I don't really use eyeliner anymore I used to a lot but the truth the real truth is is that i can't get it so my wing liner is even so it's just kind of embarrassing when you know i try and make wing liner and there's one going this way and then there's one going this way it just looks really weird anyway so we're gonna get started on this package because i'm super excited for all this stuff so first things first i gotta get I gotta, I gotta put this on for y'all because Fenty works magic. If you don't have any of your lipsticks yet, go get some. So, oop. So right off the bat, it's giving me like a purple and pink fusion, which I don't know if you guys could see that on camera, but that color is freaking beautiful. So. And this is the color, once again, called Unlocked. And I got this as an add-on at the time. I can't remember which package it was, but it was an add-on. So, we're going to put this on right now. Yeah. 
I'm gonna put this on on my mirror and then I'll redirect myself here. I'm really living for this. I'm living for this color. And, you know, this lighting on this phone doesn't really do it justice on this phone. I mean, in general, the lighting doesn't do it justice, but this camera doesn't pick up well either. Um, but this lipstick. Honey. All I gotta say is, if you don't have Fenty already, I don't know what you do. I don't know. So anyway, that was unlocked, and I really, really love this color, and I'll definitely be wearing this color a lot. It kind of reminds me of the other color that she has. If I could find it for y'all, I will find it right now, just to show y'all what I'm talking about. It kind of reminds me of this color that I love, and it's not a lip paint, but it's a lipstick. A stick, a stick, a stick. I think, you know what? which one it was? I think it was Candy Venom. That's what it is. Yeah, so it's called Candy Venom, and this is a lipstick. So if you don't like lip paint much, this color right here. That color right there is Candy Venom, and it's a lipstick. So if you prefer lipsticks, that's probably as close as um, you're going to get to this color. But it is so pretty. Like, I can't emphasize how pretty this color is right now. Um... But anyway, definitely, definitely one of my new favorites. Okay, so now I'm going to open this for you guys. And I'm just going to swatch it since obviously I put lip paint on. And it says it's a lipstick, but it kind of looks like a lip liner. So I don't know. It's probably one of, yeah, I was going to say it's either one of those crayon ones or I don't know what it is. So... It's looking like a matte deep red to me, and the color is nice. It doesn't really have any oomph to it, if you know what I mean. It just, it's like a plain matte red color. It's very crayony. Um, it, it glides on very smooth, so I mean, that's, that's a plus. But there's no, like, enrichment to that color much. So I think I would definitely have to see it, like, on my lips. Um... But, I mean, it's nice. Let me see how much that is. Oh, you know what? It must have been an add-on because I don't even see it on the paper. So, there's that. Now, this one, it says to use this tip. This is so weird to me because I've never seen... And I don't really use brow pencils, like, at all, really. Um, but this has a triangle tip. Let me try and get out the way so you guys can see it. Focus, focus. Yeah, so it has a triangle tip to it, which is really weird. But I guess the tip like that, like the tip is made like that so that you could do like hair like strokes with it. I don't know. We're about to see if this works. sure if you need to like maybe wet this a little bit before you because look as I'm swatching it you can barely see it I don't know y'all this I'm like I think it needs a little bit more pigment to actually show up like and make your brows look defined like that i don't think 
with that type of pigment, I don't think you're going to be able to see anything. But that's just my opinion. And supposedly it also has a little brush to it. Oh, that's so cute. I was thinking of like one of those spoolies or whatever they're called. But they have an actual brush on this. That is so freaking cute. I think that's so funny too. Like the way that it's on here. So let's try the little brushy brush. So the brush is nice. It definitely like definitely keeps your hair on lock. Um I think it'd be more useful if you're using like like some type of eyebrow gel, like you want to lay it down type thing. Like I think this is this would be perfect for that. Otherwise, like I don't know why you would like be brushing your eyebrows. I don't know. I just and then also too what I think this would be useful for too if you're a professional at like trimming your own brows like you could like brush upwards and get the extra long hairs at the top and be able to cut cut those parts off very easily because this is a really good brush for your eyebrows but i mean if you're not using gel or if you're not trying to cut off the, you know trim your your eyebrows a little bit i don't see why you'd be using it really i don't know that's just me i'll probably keep it just for the brush just so that i could like cut off the well trim my eyebrows but that's about it now we're gonna go into i don't know if i said this but the girl power um moisturizing lipstick is a vegan brand as well um i don't see the price on this anywhere oh for the for the pen that i just did this one right here it was the item beauty brow chow and medium brown in the full size of this pro this full size of this product is 15 dollars which i wouldn't pay 15 dollars for that at all i'm just letting y'all know <laughs> it's just me though so first off this is my first impression on this girl power lipstick i really like how cute and simple this lip stock lip stock <laughs> i can't talk today y'all i really love how cute and simple this lipstick looks it's just like a little block <clears throat> super cute super simple <clears throat> anyway let's get into this and this is the color once again in m mauve 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 that's the color right there let me get out the picture so you guys can see it that's very cute it's very it's like a nude brown color Ooh, it's giving me a little shimmer not glitter but just like shimmer like there's some like moisture to it like some oils or something which is really nice to know because you don't want a lipstick that is very dry or makes your lips dry because then you get all those cracks and whatnot you see how it shimmers a little bit i really like that i really like that and i really like the color too it's a very like cute nude color and i use nudes a lot example a and these are just some of my that's not really a nude but my nude colors then i have a lip gloss that's a nude i don't see it but yeah i use a lot of nudes so anyway i really like that i really like that lipstick okay so now i don't know what this is child oh it says cosmetic lighting crew brush we finally found it a makeup brush that applies highlighter so well it's literally like having your own lighting crew use it to blend diffuse and press on loose or press pigments with zero streaks or cakiness original price is 15 dollars. so we have this it's a highlighting brush i was gonna say highlighting but highlighter brush um it looks super round to be a highlighting brush to me like I mean, I use the typical fan brush to highlight to be able to, you know, spread it out evenly and whatnot. This is my brush. This is one I use for highlighting. But, for y'all, I will try it with my trophy wife. And I'm just gonna 
like this because it already like fell off the pan like the whole piece which is crazy to me i've only had well actually i've had this thing for like a couple of years now i've had this for like at least three or four years now this trophy wife thing so So, my first impression of this, because it's a round brush, it's not very good at spreading out the highlighter. So, if you're doing something like me, where you do the tips of your nose, um, it's okay. Like, what it does is really, like, put, leave it in one spot, like I said, because it's a round brush. So, there's no, like, it's spreading it out, like, evenly. It just stays in that spot. So, if you're just trying to highlight one specific part of your nose you just want to emphasize this little spot right there then i mean yeah that works but if you're like gonna do it on your cheeks and stuff i don't recommend using this brush because it's not gonna spread it out how you want it to always use a fan brush to like evenly spread out your highlighter so that's my thought on that now we have our galactic eyeliner which i'm gonna keep this case because i think it's really cool i don't know if i'm just being a nerd but I think it's a little cute. So there's two of them in here. Why? I don't know. But it's the eyeliner duo, it says. If I could take it out of the packaging. Okay, so this one. It says it's a long wear gel eyeliner. And it's pure brown. And it comes with a sharpener at the end. We love, we love eyeliners that come with a sharpener. And then... We have another one that says precise eyeliner marker. So they gave you a pencil and they gave you a marker. I love this brand already. I don't know. Is it cruelty free? Because that will make it even better. I don't see any cruelty free stamps on here. But I do like the fact that they gave a, a pencil and a marker. So let me swatch this for you guys. So this is the long wear gel eyeliner. Ooh, and it's very smooth like very smooth so you really want to be careful when you're doing your eye when when you're doing your eyeliner then because it's very smooth so if you mess up you can mess up you better have concealer ready because it's very smooth so it'll be easy to make like a, a mistake and then you'd have to fix it but i mean it's also good that it's very smooth because you don't want an eyeliner super chalky and like bulky and not able to make very precise lines and stuff this one you can make a precise line and like a very sharp cut edge line or you know what i'm saying like you it's not bulky or chalky or anything like that and this is their marker girl the point she's there <laughs> the point is there so if you really did want to make a sharp just go to sharp cut line you're gonna want to use the marker because look at that and that's just me attempting the first time and then me actually doing a straight line. Let me see. It's this one right here. So, if you really just want to do one of those wing liners, but you're just the cut edge girl, like the sharp edge one, you're going to want to go through with a, with a marker. With a marker. Not the pencil. But if you're doing more like a, a cat eye thing where you, you want to get that little curl, that little dip, or that little angle... And there's like a little wave to it then you you, you want to go in with the pencil um i really like both of them i really like both of like how they look and how they apply i think it's perfect depending on what you're trying to do like with the pencil they make it easy for you to just draw your lines they make it very smooth um um and you're very um how could how could i how do i describe it um, very convenient if you're making like more curved lines and then the marker they make it very pointy so you could make it very precise sharp lines so it really depends on what you're doing but I like how they give you a two-in-one that's really convenient that's I love that and that's the brand it's called galactic then we got this oh wait one second galactic oh, okay we don't have a price on that but moving forward also, the, the highlighting brush, I forgot to mention, 
Um, or no, I did mention the fact that it's $15 original price. But anyway, moving to the next product, we're using the body scrub and ow. Oh, I don't know how to pronounce that brand name, but oh, we ow. Ooh, ooh. So I don't know how this is gonna feel when like you're you're in the shower, but it smells. Hold on. It says scrub the drama out of your life and scalp. This blend of sugar, coconut oil, and probiotics cuts through the the BS to cleanse your hair and body while calming the crazy. It says massage gently onto wet skin and scalp. Rinse thoroughly. So you do have to rinse this off. But first off, I want to mention two things that I've really liked so far about this little scrub right here. One is the texture. Um, it's very, it has like the, a very gel-like um, feel to it. But it also has, you know, the little sugar scrub um, little particles in it. Look. But the gel, it goes from feeling like gel to really like sinking into your skin the more you lather it. So like the gel kind of just like sips, like sinks into your skin. And then you're left with just like the sugar particles. But I really like how that just melts into your skin. The also, the other thing that I really, really like is the fragrance it has. It has a very clean, like, almost like soapy smell to it but it smells so good it smells so good like if you guys can imagine the perfect like shampoo scent like that refreshing cleansing like has a little bit of citrusy scent to it it smells so good i really really like this and you're supposed to rinse it off so i'll rinse it off after i'm finished with this but i really really like this and this is the second scrub that i've gotten from ipsy that i really really enjoy now it says regular price oh my god regular price is 38 dollars. so i don't know if i'll be getting this again i would love to um but you know that's pretty pricey but it's it, it's i mean it's reasonable for the product that you're going to get you know it's it's pricey but it's it's reasonable for the quality you get is what I'm trying to say. So I really, really like that. Once again, this is the second scrub that I've gotten from Ipsy that I really, really like. The first one, I got a lip scrub by Naked Cosmetics in the um, in the flavor of vanilla cream. And I really, really love this lip scrub. Um, continuing on, because we still have a couple more to go. Well, actually, we only have a few more to go. I'm probably what I'm gonna do is just give you guys swatches for these so we're not here all day. So <laughs> So this is the Nomad eyeshadow, the one I said I really like the cover too. They even put a little foam thing in here to protect your eyeshadow, which I really like. I really like the, the little um the eyeshadow design. I think it's really cute i really like the designing on this overall it's really cute designs i don't know how to open this and it's a vegan brand child okay and this is what the shadow looks like so we're gonna just go in I just took any brush that I had, honestly. It's a tapered blending brush. It's not by Morph. It's a different brand. I don't know what brand this is by, but I'm just going to apply, like, a good amount. I think this is a really cute shadow. If you're going for a golden look or even a nude look, but you want to add some oomph to your look and you just need a glittery gold shadow i don't know um definitely get that i don't know if y'all could see it in this lighting it's all right there at the top right there you guys can't really see the gold tint to it but i'm trying to show you guys 
It's very, very cute. I'll definitely get this again, 100%. I have some gold shadows by Fenty, but I really, really love how this looks. It kind of reminds me of the gold shadow that I have of Fenty, to be honest with you. I just really want to show you guys, like, the gold tint it has to it. It's super cute. Um, and that one is... Original price, it's 75 ounces and it's $37. That is insane. But I really, really, really love how that color looks. So, um, once again, it's pretty pricey, but the product is worth the quality that you get. That is so cute. It kind of definitely reminds me of the Fenty Shadow in, um, in her palette. If I can find it, I'll show y'all, but I don't think... It's here, so I'll just have to show you guys another time. But uh, in Rihanna's palette, she has like three gold shadows, and it looks like the second one on there. And I'm thinking of saving this one until we get the next Ipsy package, you guys, because I think we reviewed a lot today, and it's already at 35 minutes. So I'm going to just keep this for the next Ipsy package, and we'll do that then. Um... And I think we're done here, y'all. I really, really love this package. Like, overall, I think they had a lot of good products. Um, I think the only one I didn't really like are these two. Um, just because I, I, I don't know. I just, I didn't like the, the, this one I didn't like how it applied. And this one, it's, you can't see the pigment at all. So, I just don't think they're worth the buy. But otherwise... I'm definitely going to be using all the rest of my stuff. And I have to go wash this all. But anyway. Super cute bag too. Um, we'll be using that. But what's it called? Yeah. I mean it was a good package. I really really like this package. I was waiting for this for a long time. And I'm super excited that you guys got to finally see it. And yeah. So like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next week.